Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at some of the changes and new additions coming in September to New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are only a few days away from September in New Horizons and a brand new month that brings quite a lot of changes to our islands. Of course some of these changes are the monthly updates we see quite regularly whilst others are seasonal differences that we're going to be seeing for the first time in the coming weeks. There's even some new items you need to know about. Now some of what we're about to cover may be a bit spoilery depending on how well you avoid announcements and things like that so please bear that in mind. Anyway, here are six changes coming to New Horizons in September. Number one, acorns and pine cones. The first and probably one of the most exciting changes coming in September is a new seasonal crafting material that can be found in trees all around our islands. Starting from September the 1st, if you take some time to shake a few trees, you'll be able to collect new acorns as well as pine cones from hardwood or cedar trees respectively. These are the latest seasonal materials and can be used to craft a bunch of new seasonal DOI recipes much like the summer seashells that are currently spawning on our beaches. Much like other crafting materials there's a whole bunch of seasonal items to craft using them including the acorn ponchetti bag, the balancing toy, the leaf campfire, the pile of leaves, the yellow leaf pile, the pine bonsai tree, the trees bounty little tree, the trees bounty big tree, the trees bounty lamp and finally the trees bounty mobile. Of course we'll go over these in more detail in a future video but in order to craft these items you'll need to find the DIY recipes which primarily will be found in the bloom presents that float across our skies. Just in case you didn't know these do replace the blue summer seashells and their corresponding recipes so if you need to put some time aside over the next few days to collect a few extra shells. Of course this crafting material is only relevant to the northern hemisphere as the southern hemisphere were lucky enough to have these just after launch. But what do you think? Are you excited to be crafting new items? Let us know in the comments. Number two, bushes. Now September marks the start of our third season in New Horizons as we transition from summer to autumn in the northern hemisphere and winter to spring in the southern hemisphere. Of course as the season changes we're going to start seeing a lot of visual changes to things like the trees and the grass as they begin to change to warmer and more cozy autumn and fall colours. However one of the most significant changes you'll probably see around your island in September are to the bushes which for any new players out there can be bought from leaf at the plaza. Every bush in New Horizons flower and blooms at different times of the year and in September the red and yellow hibiscus bushes stop flowering. So unfortunately towards the end of September any hibiscus bushes you currently have planted around your island become super boring and will remain plain green until the middle of next year. The good news is tea olives now become less boring as they're the ones blooming instead. So if you have a bunch of bushes you may want to swap out a few for orange or yellow tea olives. Again this is only relevant to the northern hemisphere as the southern hemisphere doesn't see any changes to flowers until November. Number three, seasonal items. As you know every season in New Horizons and pretty much every month actually sees some sort of seasonal or holiday celebration which adds new limited time items to the game and September is no different. Beginning from September the 1st the Grape Harvest Basket which is a very adorable and wearable backpack will be available to buy from the Nook Stop or shopping app on the Nook phone. This item celebrates the harvesting of grapes and all the food and drinks that they use to make. It's a European inspired item but will be available worldwide. But that's not all, a second seasonal item called the Moon Rug to help celebrate Moon Viewing Day in October actually becomes available from September the 7th. This is an Asian inspired annual celebration but again the item will be available worldwide. Currently these items are linked to the Nintendo server time and can't be obtained legitimately even by time travelling. If you do see these or you have them already please be careful using them in Dream Islands before they're officially released as they are currently hacked items and Nintendo have been deleting people's dreams. But yeah not too long to wait for these and of course they will be available in both hemispheres. Number 4 New Critters so as you'd expect with any new month in Animal Crossing we will see a huge shift in the type of critters that we can encounter around our New Horizons Island including bugs, 
fish and deep sea creatures. Of course this isn't a typical month as the seasons are changing too, so a lot of these creatures will be spawning around our islands for the first time. There's far too many to mention here, but most significantly September marks the start of the rare river fish season, I guess you could call it, in the northern hemisphere, where we'll be able to find things like pikes, cherry salmons and golden trouts. Are you excited to see some new creatures, or are you bored of hunting them down already? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Weeds now something you may not realize is that the weeds on our New Horizons island look and grow differently depending on the time of year, which is really awesome. For only the second time since the launch of New Horizons, the weeds will look completely different than they do now. Starting in September and remaining this way throughout the autumn season, weeds will be less weedy, more flowery and sprout long blades of fluffy grass. I don't really know how but they just look more autumn like and will look amazing blowing in the wind. If you have a fully developed island or you're a super D weeder, it may be worth planting a few weeds around over the next few days just so you get to see what they look like on your island. Even though they're weeds, you won't be disappointed. Number 6. Nook's Cranny As you probably already know, the updated Nook's Cranny store often redecorates throughout the year to match the current season, showing off different decals and decorations inside and outside of their store. Of course, from September, Timmy and Tommy will change up their store with some autumn and Halloween vibes ready for the seasonal holiday later in October. Some of the new decorations inside and out include a pumpkins display, as well as autumn and mushroom inspired silhouettes on the windows and doors. Furthermore, these seasonal items that are for sale every day on the display mat inside Nook's Cranny, including the surfboard and fan in the Northern Hemisphere and the space heater and celebration candles in the Southern Hemisphere will no longer be available to buy from September. It's not known right now if these will be replaced with any other furniture items for the autumn season or if it will simply disappear until winter when the items from each hemisphere will swap over. We'll have to wait and see. And there we have it, that was 6 changes we will see in New Horizons in September. Of course these are only the ones we know about for sure, we are expecting a full update so I'm guessing a new Animal Crossing trailer is just around the corner and will likely bring new holidays and new events into the game much like the Mayday update a few months ago. I really wouldn't be surprised if we got an update in the next few days that added holidays like Labor Day which is celebrated in past Animal Crossing games. But what do you think? Are you excited about these changes? Do you think an update will add even more holidays and events? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment Acorn just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include which tree bounty item is your favorite. I'd love to know. Personally, for me, it's the bonsai tree. It just looks awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.